Hello students, I am Dr. Tonmoy Vishash. I hope you all are fine. So today we are going to discuss a name reaction that is Zinke reaction. This Zinke reaction is about the pyridine to aryl pyridine or in substitute pyridine to substituted pyridine where the substituent got attached to the nitrogen. See this is pyridine ultimately the aryl or alif means aromatic or aliphatic group attached to this pyridine and cationic species from a neutral species to a cationic species obviously better to say it's salt preparation and this is a very interesting molecule very interesting chemistry is associated with this reaction so today's this topic of discussion will be the basic idea and what is the difficulty of this process why this is interesting after that, we will dis uh, we'll discuss also the reaction mechanism and reaction with primary and secondary amine and some alternate route. Means if this R is 1 degree, could it be possible to do very easily? Some shortcut technique, we will discuss this. So lots of interesting topic to be learned in this video. So watch until the end. Okay. So let's start. As usual, before going to details, we need to understand the nature of the reagent. So in this case, what was the nature of the reagent? First of all, pyridine in first stage, then 2 for uh, means 1 chloro 2 for dinitrobenzene. So if you look at the molecule, this 1 chloro 2 for dinitrobenzene, it's a very electron deficient. Why? Because with respect to chloro, these two nitro group are in 2 and 4 position, means ortho para position. So that makes these benzene nucleus prone to aromatic nucleophilic attack at the position where chlorine is attached okay because the produce negative charge will be stabilized by the conjugation of this two nitro group and in this case pyridine can act as a nucleophile okay and another thing aromatic electrophilic substitution on pyridine is difficult because it's electron deficient but this lone pair is in actually the sp2 hybridized orbital and actually not involved in the aromaticity that's why it can act as a nucleophile so what can happen that this lone pair can attack here okay so this will come here it will come here it will come here the intermediate of this attack should look like this is the pyridine part means actually better to say pyridinium this is the chloro and this is the nitro group i am just showing the involvement of para nitro although ortho will also show the similar type of effect in next step what happens this negative charge pushes it goes there it comes and it leaves so consequently what is the product this is but one interesting point 2 for di clomens 1 chloro 2 for dinitrobenzene is electron deficient i agree these produced molecules still electron deficient okay so that's why it can undergo nucleophilic attack that will come in presence of amine which was the second step of the reaction so let's go so first step we have understood how this is formed so this is actually the substrate for the next step okay because in this case just look at this this pyridine is attached to a benzene attached to 2 4 dinitro means 2 nitro group attached to this benzene in ortho para orientation which makes this pyridine nucleus also so much electron deficient such that aromatic nucleophilic substrate attack on this pyridine nucleus possible so what happens actually these amine actually in this case we are discussing primary amine i'll come secondary amine later on so this primary amine moiety attacks here consequently what happens this bond goes there so it produces this okay in the next step what happens that some ring rupture thing happens so after attack this nh2 removes one proton and the moiety became neutral fine in the next step what happens this nitrogen lone pair pushes here this double bond comes here it comes here and this bond breaks this is actually the ring cleavage and question why the ring cleavage occurs okay so in the next step actually this form e means and in the next step there is some stabilization i'll come you will understand why the ring cleavage occurred so after this ring cleavage here see a imine type moiety formed okay so if imine forms then this nitrogen lone pair can attack here and if it attacks it opens up fine so again six member ring forms how See, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 
so this is the six member ring and attached to this nitrogen and in the second step what is possible that this nitrogen can again push the lone pair and it can eliminate so finally after this what will be the product so first of all after this pushing nitrogen will pause one cationic charge means positive charge this is and look at very carefully in this case this is a primary amine okay this primary amine attached to this pyridine uh, nitrogen and bearing the positive charge whereas in the starting material look at this in this case the pyridine was attached to a 2,4 dinitrobenzene which is far more electron deficient compared to this R group that is one of the drive reason for the proceeding reaction and the another and the most important thing from where we have started we have started a chloro derivative means of this 2,4 dinitrobenzene in this case the chloro was replaced by NH2 and NH2 is actually electron donating group whereas the nitro is both nitro are electron withdrawing group so in the benzene nucleus one is donating electron and one is withdrawing electron so this is a stabilization so that's why this stable molecule is produced this is another driving force of this reaction okay so now let's go to the discussion with the secondary amine what happens everything as it is what we have discussed previously so secondary amine will attack here fine so it will open up so after that same thing the ring uh, rupture will happen this nitrogen will push in this way now this much amount we have discussed in the previous video okay so this imine by the way this is a completely conjugated system so resonance possible i suggest you please draw by yourself now a question in the previous video previous slide see in the next stage this lone pair attacked to the imine why because the lone pair has one proton such that after attack the positive charge generated on the nitrogen could be neutralized by the release of proton which is not possible here because in this case two R groups are there so reaction cannot proceed further so during the workup process what will happen these imine bond will hydrolyzed and the question is why this imine bond simple question because see this double bond is closer to this 2,4 dinitrobenzene derivative means which is a very electron deficient consequently the positive charge density at this carbon is very high such that water molecule can attack here and it will open up and after the hydrolysis what will happen this imine bond will be hydrolyzed to aldehyde and this part will be converted into corresponding the one amino 2,4 dinitrobenzene as we have discussed previously this is a stable and that's and this is the product so if i write it little good way then it should look like this it's a conjugated aldehyde as well as amine okay so this is the overall discussion now so the thing previously as i told that zinc reaction is fine it's a very sophisticated unique technique but once bypass technique is there if you react this pyridine with primary alkyl halide then this pyridine can act as nucleophile why because this lone pair is in sp2 orbital so it can attack here and this chlorine can leaves and the is follows the sn2 type pathway so in this way this could be generated this pyridinium halide derivative which is also could be produced by the zinc reaction but problem of this process is that if you want to attach the secondary or tertiary aliphatic carbon or aryl carbon okay aryl leave the aliphatic carbon not possible because sn2 is not sn2 only good for primary in secondary somewhat but tertiary sn2 reaction not possible so the zinc reaction is very helpful because it is generalized it is generalized for primary secondary tertiary even aryl so for aliphatic and aromatic both could be achieved using zinc reaction that is the importance of this reaction by the way one important application of this such kind of sn2 reaction is preparation of paraquat herbicide what happens in this case this is actually 4 comma 4 prime bipyridine or dipyridine whatever you say that's right okay it react with excess methyl chloride and what happens first of all these attacks this leaves like this similarly same thing happened with this uh, 
this one okay and ultimately result in this dicationic derivative okay it name is paraquad and it used as an herbicide okay so in today's discussion what you have learned we have learned first of all attachment of aryl group to secondary and tertiary carbon to pyridine is possible using zinc reaction why i haven't mentioned the primary because if anything could be achieved using an easy process why do we follow a tedious process in simple SN2 reaction what I told here this can result okay that's why I have avoided the attachment of aliphatic primary carbon could be possible by SN2 reaction and this zinc reaction is an excellent example of aromatic nucleophilic substitution and pyridinium cation formation okay so this is a very unique example and in the most in, uh, interesting derivative a point is that cationic pyridinium derivative are prone to nucleophilic attack because of electron deficient nature okay so nucleophile can attack very easily so this is the today's discussion i hope you have learned a lot from this lecture so thanks for watching this lecture if you really like my teaching i request you please like the video and please write your opinion in the comment box and if you think my work is worthy then share this with your friends and subscribe my channel chemistry the mystery of molecule and if you if you think this channel is good then please press the bell icon to get the notification of every single new video i upload so i want to conclude this lecture with an optimistic remark that is stay happy stay blessed please take care for your mental as well as physical health during this pandemic time okay so we will visit see you in my next video bye bye